What's good, y'all? What's happening, man? It's Flyer Kicks, and welcome back to the channel. I mean, if this is your first time here, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join that frequent Flyers Club. Drop a like and drop a comment if you like the content. And I got my IG name listed right here down below, man. Head over to IG, give me a follow, let's interact on there as well. Now, getting straight to it, man. Last video, I told y'all I was going to do a recap of all the shoes I've copped since about um, July, which is my last video um, before my top 10 video. So let's get straight to that, man. I got all the shoes that I've caught between July and December the, what's today? December the 28th. So if I cop another shoe um, tomorrow or these last three days of the year, please forgive me, man. But these are all the shoes I caught from July to the end of 2020. In no particular order, man. First shoe is the Jordan 1 High Japan, the Midnight Navy joints. Super clean quality, nice leather, super soft suede all the way around, man. Dope shoe, happy to have these joints, man. Next shoe on the list, man, I got the Court Purple 2.0s. Any shoe with a Chicago color blocking, or any one with a Chicago color blocking is damn near gonna be a hit every time. Purple looks good, I actually do like the tie-dye laces, but I'm personally gonna put white in mine when I wear them. Super clean shoe, Court Purple 2.0. Now this next shoe on the list, man, was pretty underrated when it first released, um, but I was a fan of it ever since I saw the leaked pictures. And, um, it was a hit for me. I got the Poor Man Unions, since I've never owned Union ones with that price, man. I got the small grays with the Union style on the back. Super clean shoe, man. Black, white, and red shoe with a nice soft gray suede. Easy to rock, man. Easy to pull a fit off. Super clean shoe. Small gray ones. Another recent pickup I got um, was the G Dragon Paranoid Air Force Ones, man. It's all the white uh, leather kind of peels off and show like this paint splatter. Underlayer, man, super clean. I really still want that uh, solid black pair, but this white pair is gonna have to do for now. Can't wait to peel that layer off, man, and see what's underneath. Well, this is one of everyone's favorite ones for the year 2020, man. I like the materials, I love the suede. We got the Biohack uh, Jordan 1, man. This is a super vibrant shoe, man. Some nice loud colors mixed with some soft, darker with the black, uh, I don't know, what is that? Velvet or something? This is beautiful. What is that, velvet? Like this, this is this is super clean, man. I got the that nice black, like velvet mid layer. Got that brown suede on the back, man. Super clean shoe. Got some loud colors if you want to be vibrant. You can also wear this with some dark colors with the black and the brown, man. Super clean shoe. Biohack Jordan One. Another shoe that I picked up, my second favorite uh, Nike Dunk low of the year behind the plums was the Nike Dunk Samba. Super clean shoe, man. That navy kind of turns into a metallic uh, red, kind of, if you uh, hit it in a certain light, man. Um, I like the metallic on there. I like the carbon fiber looking Nike check. Super clean with the white laces. My favorite, second favorite dunk behind the plums, man. Samba Dunk Low. Uh, moving right along, man. Like I said, the Samba was my second favorite. The plum is my first favorite. Super clean, man. I love the materials on this. Um, the Samba may be a cleaner colorway, but the materials combined with the colorway of this shoe, um, it works a lot better than that Samba. First, uh, first place dunk, in my opinion, of 2020, Nike Dunk Low Plum. Now this shoe, I'm kind of salty did not release in my size, but I do like the quality on it. I like the colorway, green being my favorite color. Have the Lucky Green Air Jordan 1 High, man, with the red and green laces. Super clean shoe, man, nice quality leather. That green all the way around with that black patent check, that's the best. Um, accent I like on this shoe. Red and white on the back, super clean Jordan 1. Like I said, women's release, the biggest size is a men's 10 and a half, man. Lucky greens. One of my more recent pickups, uh, shout out to my bro Mike for holding it down on these. I got the off-white fives, the sales. Um, Y'all seen last week I had the black metallic pairs my shoe of the year. Um, I kind of partnered this and just kind of held them in that spot together because I didn't want to take two spots in the top 10, so. Off-white, fire red five, the cell joints, man. Definitely pick these joints up. No brainer pickup. Well, I got two babies coming in this next spot, man. I picked these up. Um, I actually grabbed these first from Union website, the Guavas. Um, super clean Jordan 4, man. This is definitely the, the cleaner pair to look at. And I actually ended up getting these joints locally. I had to pay resale for these, but it's all good. I got the off Noir um, Union 4s. I like these joints a lot. I like the black for wear, but the, these are definitely a trophy to look at, but I'm gonna get a couple of fits off in these too. Y'all let me know which one y'all like better. Everyone's uh, pretty much 
favorite Jordan one of the year, man. The poor man Travis Scott's, man. These babies are super clean. The Mocha Jordan 1. I'm personally going to take my pink laces out of my Travis and throw them in here. So I can retire my Travis and they'll be crispy in a couple of years when I'm ready to wear those again. Mocha 1, super high release. Um, this is a tricky release to uh, come by. Happy to have a personal joint. Easily shoe of the year contender, um, but I didn't pick it. The Off-White 4. Sell. Was happy to pick these up for retail, man. Uh, dead shit on the sneakers app. This is a size 8. Wasn't able to swap for my size. Seeing the price difference in the big sizes, but still got it in the collection for now, man. Maybe I'll find a trade or something really worth it to uh, give these babies up. A sleeper easy pick uh, this year. This shoe gave me like Turtle Dove vibes without that $1,000 Turtle Dove price. And I picked up the Zion V2, man. Like I said, the only reason I picked these up is because they look exactly like Turtle Doves. I imagine this is what a Turtle Dove V2 would look like if he ever was to drop one. So I went ahead and copped the uh, poor man's Turtle Dove, if that's what you want to call them. But a super clean shoe, neutral color, fall color, has some maroon hits in it. Super clean, especially for a TSU Tiger, man. Super dope. Another Yeezy I copped, which originally released in 2017. Got the retro treatment in 2020, the bread Yeezy, all black shoe, small hits of red, can't go wrong, bro. Yeezy 350s are so comfortable, man, it's a no-brainer pickup. I advise y'all to get these now before their price shoots back up to the six, dollars $700 range. Because even with the re-release, the shoe never really dropped below um, maybe the 350 area. So I would grab these now, they're definitely going to shoot back up. They won't be releasing again for a while. Now, another shoe that was number three on my top 10 list, the Kobe 6 Pro Tro Grinch, man. Hands down, it's a self-explanatory shoe. Christmas release um, in 2010 for Kobe. He played in these, so they released them for Christmas this year on December 24th. Got a personal um, size 12, man. Shout out to H-Town Live Kicks, that boy Red Terry for swapping um, that size 11 for my personal size 12. Much love, bro. You are appreciated out here in this community. Um, Y'all go follow that boy. I'm going to his IG right here. Y'all go ahead and follow that boy too. But the Grinches, easy pickup. If you miss these, I feel sorry for you because those resale prices are going to go crazy. Super clean, man. Another shoe that I picked up was the What the Five. The other shoe being uh, um, like a Tokyo Bay shoe with all yellow. Um, I do kind of wish both shoes were solid red like this and they added the accents all around. But super clean shoe either way. I'm happy to have this shoe in the collection, man. I love fives, ones, threes, fives, you know, fours. Those are like my favorite Jordans, bro. So, had to grab the What the Fives. It has a lot of Jordan fives that I've never owned, but always wanted. So, um, I'll take that for now. Rather than buying all those um, different pairs, I'll take the What the Five for now. Next up on the list, a shoe that I wasn't able to um, secure in my size. Um, I was able to secure like 10s and 12s and everything, but I want 11 and a half and 1s, and I'll grab that joint eventually. But I have the Royal Toe Jordan 1s. This is a super clean colorway for sure. My favorite um, accent on this shoe is the White Wings logo and then the white Nike Air. That just fits out. Um, it fits really good. Usually you will see a colored, um, maybe a blue logo in this case, since it's a blue toe, but. Super clean, Royal Toe Jordan 1s, um, really, really nice quality shoe, nice leather. Definitely going to grab these in a personal size soon and get some fits off in these. Royal Toes. Now, I don't have any mids in my collection, but I did cop these, and these are definitely approved. Maybe it's the Alpha in me, but I copped the white, black, and gold um, mid Jordan 1. Just a super clean colorway. And like I said earlier, man, anything in that Chicago style color blocking is going to be a hit no matter what color you put on it. The metallic gold really just look, looks good with this one, man. So I copped these. Um, had to. The Alpha in me, maybe. Super clean. Jordan 1. Keeping right along with that Alpha theme, man, I had to cop the black and gold one highs, man. Um, now they released as a mid way back in the day, and they released in a different iteration um, of a high previously with the white mid, so... But all black shoe, gold hits, super clean. White and gold mid, black and gold high. Had to cop both, man. 06 to the bros. Another Jordan 5 that I copped this year was the uh, alternate grade 5. Um, I'm a 5 guy. I love the regular grade. It's one of my like favorite OG colorways of any Jordan. So I seen this way, man. It was a solid quality. All purple shoe. I did love this shoe more before I actually bought it. I haven't worn these yet. Um, I'll see if I can get a fit off in these, but um, I may sell them, may trade them for something else. 
but it's definitely a clean shoe to look at so far. Um, I haven't been able to really just get myself to pull them off and, and get a fit off in them, but super clean. Alternate grade five, man, had to pick these up. Now, one of my sleeper picks of the year, man, it's not a very popular model, but it is by one of my favorite brands, and they've had an incredible year and with their collabs with Nike. My guy to shout out Stussy. Uh, this is the Spirit Dawn Fossil. They just released the Air Force Ones um, a couple of weeks ago. The Fossil Air Force One pair is crazy. Even the Black Air Force One pair is crazy, even though it does just look like a Black Force. Once you get it in hand, you can see those details, that threading and that stitching on the back and the embroidery on the front. It's a super clean shoe, man. So, Stussy Fossil. Picked these up off a of random uh, exclusive access. This was like maybe three or four months after the release. I looked on my phone, had exclusive access. They had sizes four to seven and a half. So I just grabbed this seven and a half uh, really quick. And it was going for like 750 to my surprise. But when I looked at the other sizes, the fours and the five, they was going for a thousand. Should have grabbed those, should have checked StockX first, but just had to be quick. Happy to have these regardless, man. Definitely need these in 11 and a half. So if you got them, send them my way, man. Another shoe that I recently copped, man, um, these remind me of the Wu-Tang Dunks. I mean, they look exactly like them, just no W, but I got the Iowa Nike Dunk High. Um, this is a super clean colorway, um, that black and red, breadish looking color blocking, man. Super clean shoe, super nice colorway. May get someone to go ahead and add that W on the back for me for the Wu-Tang joints, but super clean shoe, man. Grab these for retail on the sneakers app. Shout out to Dez again for these. For sure, she got the lucky hand on that sneakers app, but Iowa Dunk High, super dope. Now, as y'all know, I'm an October baby. Um, I love Halloween. I love the, the costume and the dressing up. I love all of that stuff, man. So, the last few years, Nike has been releasing a Halloween skeleton-themed Air Force One, and I was lucky to get my hands on a pair this year. I have the orange pair, and if you can see that glow, let me try to charge them real quick. <laughs> Put them in the light. You can see that glow on the bottom. This whole bottom glows to that bright green, uh, going a dark colorway. It has the skeleton foot on the side man all orange just a perfect halloween shoe super duper happy to have these in my collection as a halloween october baby man super dope and last but not least man the christmas jordan 11 um, i went ahead and grabbed these jubilees 25th anniversary jordan 11 it's an all black 11 man i didn't really like them at first i didn't like the jordan going down the side it reminded me of something you can get at Big T, which is like a flea market in Dallas, man. They sell all the fake um, shoes and things like that. And they've been selling shoes with the Jordan going down the side for years, man. So maybe Jordan got tired of seeing the fakes and just really brought it to life. Say this is Tinker's original sketch. Um, so that's the story they're going to. That's what the story they're going to stick with. They like it. I love it, man. All black shoe, black, white, and gray. Can't go wrong. Funny story about this release, man. P.J. Tucker's opening the store out here in Houston called The Better Generation. Um, right now, they're just operating Instagram um, online and through their app. But they did a special release where you can sign up to volunteer at the Houston Food Bank and you can secure your pair of the Jubilee 11s. I met some of the staffers um, from The Better Generation. A super cool dude, super cool young ladies, man. Uh, we had fun helping out the community, man, giving back. Packed up over like 8,000 pounds of meals between us and the other groups that were in there. Super cool experience, man. So if they do it again, I'll definitely hop on that. Um, I could have easily just walked in Foot Locker or something or got a reservation anywhere and got these. But it was just a cool way um, to secure a pair of shoes, man. It was their first time doing it. So I was just down, down for the get down just for the story and just for the experience, man. So shout out to the better generation for these. Super dope way, man. Super dope way to release a shoe. But that just about wraps it up for this video, man. This is every shoe that I've copped from July to the end of December, man. I'm sorry I've been gone for long. I'm sorry I missed out on all these videos and giving these in-depth reviews. But I'm back, man. Y'all won't miss me anymore. I will do in-depth reviews on these, but these are shoes that I've already released. You've probably seen a thousand reviews. I just want to catch you up on my personal cops and catch up um, the people that follow this channel. And just do you guys due diligence, man, and just hold it down for y'all. But, um... But this about wraps it up for this video, man. Until next time on the next video, you got all my releases from July to December. I'm going to stay on top of it in 2021, man. We're on that road to 1,000. Peace.